So let's look at a course homepage. What you want to do is on the global navigation, select courses, then pick one of your courses, and let's go and take a look inside of a course. The navigation in a course is slightly different than on the Canvas homepage. What you'll see is a left navigation inside the course, and this is a course specific navigation. You'll still have the global navigation at the top, but the course navigation is always going to be on the left side. The next thing you'll see is a breadcrumb trail. If you click on the little home icon here, that takes you back to the Canvas homepage or dashboard. The next thing you'll see in the breadcrumb trail is your actual course name. So in this case, I've used a fictitious course name or course ID. And what happens as you get deeper into the course, so let's say I'm going to go click on pages here, you'll now see that the breadcrumb trail is showing pages. So this allows you to go one level back instead of all the way to the home page if you clicked on home, the course home page. So you can just go one level up to the parent level by following the breadcrumb trail. Going back to the course home page, and on the right sidebar, you see Course Setup Checklist. You can click that, and a little window here at the bottom pops up. This is where Canvas gives you some uh, guidance on whether or not you want to import content, add some course assignments, add students to the course. And, of course, if you have a student information system that your institution is tied to, you will not probably need to add any students to your course because they will be automatically officially assigned through the course student information system. But if you've got your own course and you're not tied to any other systems, then uh, this is where you would add some students, uh, which you can also do under the people link here in the uh, left course navigation. And you can close this window by this little X in the right bottom corner there. You, so you can create a new announcement if you want. You can also watch the course analytics, which is the same as a statistics about your course. And we'll go into that later in another video. And then you'll have your to-do list, uh, which again will show five items if you've got five things to do. And in this case, it's only showing two items. You can close that if you want to ignore that particular to-do item. And then further down, you have all pages in the course. And I've just added a couple of pages here. And pages are similar to wiki pages. And you're seeing a uh, page, a static page, but uh, the default view will be the course stream, which will show you all the recent activity. And this is similar to the course global activity stream, except in this case, it's only showing activities for this particular course that you have. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to change the home page layout if you, for example, want to show either the course stream or a static page like what you're seeing right now.